get together and start here. Day two and the start of IDEO's unique brand of brainstorming. They call it a deep dive, a sort of total immersion in the problem at hand. IDEO's mantra for innovation is written everywhere. One conversation at a time, stay focused, encourage wild ideas, defer judgment, build on the ideas of others. Uh, that's the hardest thing for people to do is to uh, restrain themselves from uh, uh, criticizing an idea. So if anybody starts to nail an idea, they get the bell. You know. <laughs> the deep dive begins, and for the next few hours, the ideas pour out and are posted on the walls. Oh, the blind, the, the privacy blind. Like when you're buying six cases of condoms, you, no one sees. <laughs> Nesting is, uh, it, it sort of has to nest. If it doesn't nest, we don't have a solution. How about Velcro pants and, and Velcro seats for the kids, and you just drop them down on there. And it's like like the Velcro seats? <laughs> Velcro pants for kids? Yeah, see, uh, you have to have some wild ideas. If, then you build on those wild, wild ideas, and they end up being uh, better ideas than if you said, if you, if everybody only came up with sane things, you know, kind of appropriate things, you'd never like have any points to take off to, to build a, a really innovative idea. It's organized chaos. Organized chaos. I, it's not organized. Um, what it is is it's focused chaos. By 11 a.m., the group begins narrowing down the hundreds of ideas written or drawn on the walls. How? By voting for them. Vote with your post-it, not, not with an idea that's cool, but with an idea that's cool and buildable. Um, if, it's, if it's too far out there and it can't be built in a day, then I don't think we should vote on it. Why not have you be the judge? You're the because, boss. Because I'm, I'm going to be wrong. It's the team that, that's Good able ideas. to really judge with the best yeah. ideas. Otherwise, and, ideas wouldn't come out? That's right. Enlightened trial and error succeeds over the planning of lone genius. Enlightened trial and error succeeds over the planning of the lone genius. If anything sums up IDEO's approach, that is it. That and the focused chaos that seems to go with it. Um, I take a point of view. I call it the sport utility vehicle cart. It is noon. Worried that the team is drifting, what can only be called a group of self-appointed adults under Dave Kelly holds an informal side session. We don't want to tell them what to build or else we take away the benefit no, of the whole thing, right? What needs should they optimize their solution to? Yes. The purpose is to refocus the deep dive. Maybe we arbitrarily say we do five teams. Four or five teams. Four or five. Four or five teams, and we, and we give each team a need area. Hey, can we uh, grab everybody over to the uh, wall here? There has to be a command decision. It becomes very autocratic for a very short period of time in defining what things people are going to work on. Like it or not, the team is told it will split into groups to build mock-ups, covering four areas of concern that have been identified. Shopping, safety, checkout, and finding what you're looking for. I noticed that toward the end of the process, the adults took over. Yeah, that's because we, we have no choice but to, to stop that cycle. I mean, there's, um, if you don't work under time constraints, you, you could never get anything done because it's a messy process and go on forever. While the team starts building prototypes, Dave Kelly takes me on a tour of the rest of IDEO. What's happening in here is uh, that's a client meeting. That's a first client meeting. That's the first time we met with the client. So we haven't trained them yet. <laughs> if, if we took them straight from there into a room where the music was blaring and everybody was throwing Nerf darts at each other, that would be a little hard to take. You know, so um, we're warming them up. But this is, <coughs> this is where the crazies live. This is where we do our work. It's different. You can tell whether a place is playful in about the first 15 minutes as you walk down the hall. Being playful is of huge importance for being innovative. I mean, if you go into a culture and there's a bunch of stiffs going around, they're not, I can guarantee they're, li they're not likely to invent anything. Invent anything like this futuristic looking instrument for kids. So no matter what you do with that thing, you, you always sound, sound great. You always sound good. <laughs> you have to make it so that this can happen. Whoa, it so, didn't break. No, it didn't break. There's a whole department at IDEO devoted to toys. Turns out to be one of its most profitable areas. Fun, too. So we've got these little wings, and no matter what you do, if I get in trouble here, it's always a spiral. At IDEO, they found that fresh ideas come faster in a fun place. 
Not only is the furniture on wheels to suit the needs of the moment, but people are encouraged actually to build their own work areas. And they were designing this space and they said to me, you know, we'd like to have, you know, $4,000 extra in our budget for a DC-3 wing. <laughs> and I said, uh, DC, you have to have that? And they said, yeah, they have to have it. So that's, that's a DC-3 wing. Piece of a DC-3 wing, yeah. And that's just decor. That's decor. That's um, ambiance. You know, that says we're weird and we're proud of it. Umbrellas on the ceiling to shade computer screens from direct sunlight. And bicycles on ropes to prevent clutter. The first guy who hung a bike up on a thing, he didn't come to me and ask me. He didn't ask some facilities person was was OK. He tried it. And then, like, he waited and see if anybody complained. If nobody complained, another guy hung a bike up. And pretty soon, everybody's got their bikes up and nobody's complained, right? So it's that whole thing of trying stuff and ask forgiveness, you know, instead of asking permission. It's the way people come up with new ideas. IDEO has such a reputation for innovation that client companies are increasingly asking Dave not just for new products, but also to remake their corporate cultures. You may be looking at the workplace of the future here. It's one thing to be able to do a product once in a while, but if you can build a culture and a process where you routinely come up with great ideas, that's what the companies really want. Okay, Peter, we're done. Back at the shop, it is 6 o'clock, and the four mock-ups are ready for showing. Baskets also can be, if you think you will have more volume, baskets can be put in. A modular shopping um, cart you pile hand baskets onto. A high-tech cart that gets you through the traffic jam at checkout. That you could mount a scanner on the shopping cart so that you as the customer, as you pull it off the shelf, would scan each item. One that's built around child safety and another that lets shoppers talk to the supermarket staff remotely. Uh, yeah, where can I find the yogurt? But the adults again decide more work needs to be done before the mock-ups can be combined into one last prototype. Why don't we have all the carts come up here for a second? I think you take a piece of each one of these ideas and kind of back it off a little bit and then put it in the, yeah, in the right. design. The design is still not there. But there's another motto at IDEO, fail often in order to succeed sooner. And some of the team will be up half the night trying to put together a design that finally does work.